Hey everyone! So today I'm making a birthday card in Design Space. It's a tri-fold memory decks card. It is for a Facebook group that I join and you swap memory decks cards. So I am uploading this memory decks card template. I believe I got this one off of Google or I purchased it for a dollar off of Etsy. So you want to get a square, unlock it, and cover the top half of the memory decks and then select all and then you want to hit slice and then erase these pieces and that leaves you with the bottom and then you can add whatever you want to the top i have a tutorial on how to make shakers or any shape that you want for a memory decks i am planning on a circle so i am just sizing it to what i think looks nice on there i think it ended up being about four inches by three or something um, yeah, you just want to make it fit on there and I duplicated it twice So now I'm just fitting it to the sides to where you open it. Um, that's how big it's going to be And you want to line it up uh, Perfectly and then you can move that and you want to select the three circles and hit um, the weld button so now it's one piece and You can connect it. Um, I chose not to I'm gonna separate them um, and that I accidentally forgot to hit um, the attach button or group so they can print and cut together oh not print I'm cutting so yeah so then they cut on one page so I cut them out um, and I chose these papers I'm using um, pink paisley by Paige Taylor Evelyn oh my goodness Paige Taylor Evans um, and many more collection I buy digitals from acdigitals.com um, so I printed these out and then cut them I chose these two the candles and like those little um, those little balls that hang up they're so super cute so I'm trying to decide which one is the outside and the inside so then I can do the opposite for the memory decks piece and I chose the candles to go inside, so I'm doing the bottom, um, the candles. And I printed out, or not printed, I cut out just some regular white ones to um, thicken it up a bit more so the base is nice and sturdy. Because for this project, I was thinking of making it kind of chunky. And even though it's trifold, um, I want it to be super, super strong on the bottom for um, the person that I'm sending this to so it doesn't fall over in their holder or box or whatever they're gonna put it in. And I hope they like it. I absolutely loved it in the end. It is beautiful. It's one of my favorites that I've made. So I went and I sewed around it and I was gonna do the circle part but I need to see where I'm folding it first and it's not gonna be a complete circle. Um, my idea in my head was the circles are gonna fold perfectly into each other but how I did it, I actually really like. Um, but you can play around with it, obviously, if you don't like how I did it on here. Um, I still think it's really, really cute. It's like, almost like a half a moon kind of design. Because, um, see, I tried doing it here. Um, and then I didn't like how it lined up. Because you can still kind of see the other pieces. So I just went ahead and creased it where... It would line up and then just cut off that little piece so it's still a trifold and still the um, circle that I kind of imagined in my head I really like this because it's a, a little different um, just because when you open it you know it's like a, a small piece and then on the other side it's a big piece but yeah in the end I loved it and I hope you do too so let me know if you're gonna try this um, or if you have made a trifold memory decks before and that's how it closes I like how it came out and now I'm gonna go sew around it because I got the cut right and yeah now I'm going to attach it with some barely art glue one of my favorite glues ever I used to always use adhesive tape but then I seen this glue and yeah I absolutely love it so I just let that dry for a few minutes and that's what it looks like So now I'm just going to go in with some ephemera that I printed out um, 
again using AC Digitals, and this is the And Many More collection by Paige Taylor Evans. Um, Pink Paisley is her line. And I decided to use a Velcro fastener for this so it stays shut, and then you can open it when you'd like. So yeah, any questions, please let me know down below. I will be happy to answer them, or you can DM me on Instagram. My links are down below. And yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy me decorating this. Talk to you later. Let me know what you think, how it came out. Bye.